that last piece takes us to the other wall in the gallery um, that continues the story or continues representations within the story. Uh, the first one is called Nation. It's a, uh, a piece that actually was inspired by um, uh, two people. One person was John Henry Clark and the other person was uh, Colin Kaepernick as far as like the whole Afro thing and all of that. But um, understanding what a nation is and understanding what it takes to build a nation. You know, uh, a nation isn't a nation if you, you know, you're not wearing underwear that's made by somebody in that nation. You understand? Like you gotta, it's a self-sustaining thing and you know, just kind of depicting that and then making sure that we look up while we do it. You know, we, we keep our head up, you know, within it all of trying to, trying to build our nation as, you know, America or whatever you want to call this. You got all these subsections, but I just wanted to depict um, that moment in time for me and also represent somebody that you can see in the city. You can see this guy in Cincinnati and uh, not know what he represents and he could be all about nation. You know what I mean? Um, I got the, uh, the South African flag up there as well. Uh, just to represent, you know, ultimately the vision that, you know, beyond this and serving other people, you know, what I want to serve other people for. And uh, that's to try to build something, you know, try to build something that we can, you know, keep our head up, be proud of, you know, wear, wear over our heart. Uh, that leads into See My Dreams. And one of my dreams was to make music. And I actually made a song called See My Dreams. And this was the artwork for it that I had created. And I went ahead and just put down most of the lyrics uh, for, well, some of the lyrics for the, the song. And um, a piece of that poem is, so what's, so what's a man to do when all you have is you? Trying to make it through the day, really trying to find your way. So Lord, as I sit and pray, I'm just trying to find my way. Um, which is ultimately what this first gallery showing is all about. Um, you know, this was my first, my, first, my first stab at trying to be creative and trying to be kind of something outside of the box. But um, me actually creating the artwork for this, I almost enjoyed that more than recording the song, which I did enjoy as well. But um, having to be self-sufficient and just recording myself, not having no you know, studio or nothing like that, just learning how to make it happen with what you have, that's what that process was for me and that portion of you know, my dreams and aspirations and things that I wanted to do. And uh, that leads into the picture All Heart. Uh, I wanted to depict exactly what my brand is about as far as apparel, you know, something that you could put on a shirt, uh, but also let it be known too, you know, of kind of just my freestyle designs of what I can do with color and also what I can do with, you know, my sayings and what my brand is gonna stand for or what I want it to stand for. Because I put my heart into this and I did it with nothing. You know, a lot of these pieces were created with absolutely nothing. You know, I'm talking about zero money, zero dollars. Um, certain things I had to get creative on getting, um, you know, borrowing permanently and, um, you know, just trying to, you know, make it happen and um, by any means necessary. So that's, that's one thing that I, you know, I wanted to depict in this, you know, with the heart in the middle, the heart being the dynamite, hopefully with, with us putting that into it, we'll blow up or something. Um, next thing is it goes into the characters that I enjoyed as a kid, and Secret Squirrel was one of those characters that I loved. I just thought he was the coolest. And, uh, you know, Morocco Mo, uh, you know, he had the car, he had the, the, the bucket hat and, and all of that, and the trench coat. I just, thought, I just thought he was a cool character. He was one of my favorites. So um, I wanted to do another, another piece that might be a, you know, kind of a t-shirt design idea. Um, and just kind of show the world what it is that I can do uh, with some of the influences um, in my life as a kid. You know, I was big on cartoons um, 
and this was this was one that I wanted to kind of flip on his head and what would it look like if he was wearing my clothes you know what I'm saying what would it look like if he was wearing my bucket hat that I made um, and what would be inside of the jacket you know which is ultimately you know paradise and what we see in um, that leads into uh, my next piece which is fight for it another character that I loved as a kid um, which was you know Sonic the Hedgehog and my favorite character on that game um, was Knuckles uh, just thought the character just looked the coolest out of everybody so um, you know the the one with the locks you know the only character with the locks so I couldn't be mad at that I, I just I just really enjoyed playing the game and wanted to put that into put that influence into my work and the character Knuckles is all about fighting it's all about fighting to try to protect, fighting to try to, you know, complete the mission. That's what I wanted to depict here. Uh, put the Jordan 12s on them. And, um, yeah, you got to fight for everything. You gotta, I definitely had to fight for this moment right here. I had to fight for this shirt that I got on. I had, I had to fight through a lot of negativity to just even get to this place. So I wanted to depict that. Um, and another, like, T-shirt design type of style. Um, of just kind of just going crazy with the colors and just being creative. Hey. All right, and this next piece is uh, See the End, um, New Beginnings. Another piece that's kind of focused on the focus of the character and um, kind of depicting what it would look like uh, in my future or, you know, an older me. Um, you know, walking to, walking to the house of light with beautiful, you know, flowers and all of that. Just a, a, a more nature-oriented place that I would be in once I got older. You know, um, a welcoming place, uh, which I feel like with this new beginning and the kind of the the end of me being amateur to almost you know, almost on a professional level or a semi-professional level right now, you know, it's a transition, you know, and um, the House of Light could be plenty of places. It's just a representation of opportunities, you know, buildings that give you opportunities, you know. One of those places, one of those House of Light is Sharonville Culture Center. They was able to go ahead and, you know, help me out as far as being able to have this moment, being able to show my work, and uh, yeah, kind of just, kind of more of just a stroll rather than a, a full sprint to try to figure all this stuff out. Uh, yeah, so see the end, new beginnings this is one of my favorite pieces as well. It's uh, you know it's very serene for me, um, and that's a place that I want to be once I get older. You know, a place of peace and serenity.